Alright, what is up? We are back in Metal Gear Survive. Um... So my supply box still happens daily. There's that. Still get my rations in clean water, so that's pretty cool. And, uh, my overall supplies for my team still get up or down, depending. So that's weird. I can only imagine that we're gonna have another base that's gonna be like the one we were just at. Shock rock. I mean, I'm sure that's very useful, but I don't want it. No, 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 no. Okay, what do you got for me? You probably got missions, right? Craft food and drink. Eliminate any wanderer with backstabs and gather golden crescent. Sure. I don't want to do that. Um. Oh, I got tents. <laughs> Advanced medical workbench. That's good. Um, make serum. Antibacterial drug. Have those just in my in my storage for when my team inevitably starts to die. Uh, change equipment. Oh yeah, I do have I do have an assault rifle. Um Bring some flame traps. That sounds good. Ice traps too, why not? That's really what I need. I need to craft more fences. I don't have enough fences. And that's offensive. Ha. Huh. Um, okay, so. I need to get to here. <coughs> Which from what I can tell is back through the tunnel. Now, with that said, I just want to point it. You're welcome. I just want to point out. Where's, can I craft any weapon or ammo? Where's my gun bench? There it is. I can craft bullets. That's good. Bring the flame arrows. I have a lot of them. You know? Alright, so, what I was gonna say is, uh, we get here, right? In... Okay. I wish these guys would quit cutting up. Anyway, as I was saying, so in the, in the first area, Reeve points out that I found a body of a soldier who had been clearly killed with gunfire. On top of that, we have yet to find a single member of the Karen Corps until just now when we have this one signal that says, hey, there's a member of the Karen Corps that's alive nearby. What that translates to me is, hey, we found the traitor. Now? <laughs> what do I know? Just, you know, we discovered that the Karen Corps was betrayed and killed by a human. And now we find the only surviving member Suspicious. Oh well. There's an inactive wormhole transmitter. 
you know, let's do that first, just to have an escape route. Because I guarantee, once I find this guy, I'm going to have to extract him and save his life. And it'll be like, oh, I'm so glad you saved me. Here, let me put a gun in your back. <coughs> I don't trust him. I don't trust this guy at all. I haven't met him yet, and I don't trust him. Only because of the evidence that's currently stacked up against him. It says that he absolutely killed the rest of the team. are dangerous. Everybody huddle up now. Damn, that's efficient, though. Hey, look over there for a sec. That again, I'd appreciate it. Just kind of popped up behind me. trees. That's a negatory good buddy. So what's the plan here? Buy 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can supply yourself with oxygen from your eye droid. I can't seem to progress through the trees, man. How am I supposed to get to the guy? Oh, I can climb up here, I think. Yeah, I can. A safe space where I can breathe. Ooh, there's a container up there. How do I? Aha, you thought you could fool me, but you could not. Head on up there. You and I was wondering where you were.
to get more to the destruction aspect of this because I always run out of materials. Especially iron. Like, I need to break more shit all the time. I am aware. That's okay, though. I do want to get up there to the, where that container is. Hello. Not a mule. It's a wild ass. I learned recipe smoked ass. You're like guys, we're gonna eat ass tonight. Alright. How hard are you to open up? Normal difficulty, that's okay. Shock spear. Hey now. That sounds pretty cool. Double flames. Figure that plus my gun. I should be relatively good covered, right? Alright, so let's activate this and then we'll go check out this dude. Only a minute. Okay. And just like that, we're golden. Which, seeing those grabbers, like, actually tunnel underneath, I realized that, uh... That they probably can tunnel under and get to me past traps. And that's honestly kind of terrifying. Excellent. Now I just gotta make my way back across. Give me more of that smoked ass. Dirty water. Zero chance I'm gonna have to shoot him, right?
Until you remember what pain is. Seems I don't like to be near that guy. So this is the guy that I was I almost pulled into. That he would come. Keep quiet, it should be nice and safe. Shit. Fortunately, the transport is already activated. I just gotta get him to it. Hey, is that the other side of that cave I was looking at with all the branches? It is. What was that? Plastics and such. Okay, I'm about maxed out on weight, so I should probably get him out of here. Back to base. Easy extraction. Still as green as they come last time I saw you on Mother Base. Now you're a captain with your own unit? Huh. Hard to believe. Is this some kind of dream? Huh? Maybe. If it is, well, everything would make sense. This is no dream. You are. I am 100% awake. Right, Virgil? You know my name? You don't recognize me? After I found myself here, I got picked up by the Charon Corps. I was with them for a while. I met you back then too, Virgil. Part of my internal database has been lost due to an incident of an unknown nature. I have no records of the Charon Corps' activities. This would be why I do not have information on you either. I see. Well, the name's Seth. Nice to meet you. Again. You look like you've seen better days, too. Though, hell, you only lost your memory. I'd say you and I are better off. When I think of the friends that Psycho took out. Psycho? Dan. You guys saw him. Guy who was screwing with me. Dan. Internal database match for one such individual. According to records, he is a combat engineer with the Karen Corps. 
So this is the this is the big this is the big swap you're setting up, isn't it? Dan here is actually a good guy, and Seth is the traitor. I don't believe that. Like we have no actual conversation with Dan. We don't know who he is or why he was fighting Seth. But Seth is our pa our par our buddy from the past who wound up here and has been here for who knows how long already. Because we don't know we don't have any concept of time, considering that we were dead, literally legally dead for a while. So, this is my theory. Right now they're setting up the switch. We're going to be joining forces with Seth. Seth is going to basically be convincing us that Dan is the bad guy and manipulating us from the inside. But Seth is actually the villain. And Dan was actually was trying to kill him before he killed... Or before he sabotaged the rest of the mission, basically. Yeah. He's the reason the unit's dead. You see that sound in your voice? It's almost like you're possessed by something. If you've been here long enough, you've probably seen the bodies. He shot every one of them. I don't believe that because clearly he uses a shotgun. That is incomprehensible. I can see no logical reason for such actions. Exactly. Maybe he doesn't have a reason. He's totally nuts. Maybe being in this crazy ass place has made him that way. Or maybe it's you're just setting it up the backstory for yourself, and you've been in this crazy ass place for too long and it made you this way. I've been looking for some payback after all the court did for me. But I got careless. And I was about to be his next victim. Good luck alluded to a Karen Core survivor who holds the key to destroying the Lord of Dust. That would be you, would it? No, it would be Dan. Dan is a combat engineer. Good luck said that? I see. I get it. So he's entrusted you to do what we couldn't. There is, in fact, a weapon around here that'll let you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that thing. We had another mission, which was to secure this weapon. It was called Sahelanthropus. I mean, quite frankly, we, to, to, in order to have a weapon to take down something that big, I feel we would need a combat engineer. Dan is the good guy here, I swear Go to God. Go and investigate the weapon Seth talked about. I've marked its predicted location on the map. Check your iDroid. I want us to make some smoked ass. <laughs> So I got plenty of clean water on me. I might actually make that shock spear. That sounds useful. That's not what I wanted to do. S1000. Ooh. Ooh, do you use the same shotgun? Oh, you you use you use 12 gauge. Yes. Oh, you can only be a main weapon. Shit. Damn. I don't have anywhere near enough 12 gauge to make that a viable thing to rely on. That's the problem with that. Uh, 
Oh, I see. Okay. This spear can only go on my back. Because it's a because it's a back weapon. Okay. That sucks. That's disappointing. Oh well. Um how far is it? that's pretty far. There is a walker gear there and a wormhole transmitter on the transmitter on the way though, so at least there's that. But that's gonna have to be an objective for tomorrow, because we are limited on time as of now. Didn't really do a whole lot of backstabbing. Mm. I'm disappointed in myself, honestly. <laughs> DD combat pass. I need cotton fabric. See, I could probably, be, if I made that, I could bring a whole lot of 12 gauge. And then having a 12 gauge shotgun with that shock spirit, that might actually be a good, good choice. Having the shotgun be kind of my sort of oh shit weapon instead of my axe, and then the, sh the spear be my main weapon. I mean, that's that's a that's an option. I could I could do that. Eventually, I might actually, uh, make more than, uh, <laughs> more bullets than I can carry and have to actually use the pouch that I put on my chest, but until that point, I guess this is all I got. Um, actually, uh, let's, I, I, the shock rod, right? Now nah, that goes on the hip. Is there no melee weapon I can put on my shotgun slot? No, melee weapons don't go on go on the hip or the secondary slots. That sucks. You know. Drop attacks. Ha! That's cool. Let's explore on. Let's explore around here a bit. Now that I think about it, I haven't actually done that. There's not really a whole lot going on, huh? We're just kind of tucked into the wall. 
wonder how our nameless guys are doing back at the regular base. I wonder if they're dead. They're probably dead. Hmm, what's out this way? Zebras! Grant Zebra. I will shoot you in the face, don't you even. I want some zebra meat. Actually, animal leather. Ooh, I can make the shotgun pouch. I can make it more realistic to carry around the shotgun. I can make the 12 gauge pouch, guys. Guys. 12 gauge pouch. And food. Dirty water. And whatever's in here. Nothing. Yeah, so I can actually do that thing I was talking about. I can make the shotgun ammo pouch so I can carry more shotgun shells. And then I can have the spear be my main weapon, and the shotgun my off weapon. I can try that out. I'm gonna smoke me some zebra. Apparently smoking the meat, the item does not degrade, so if I keep doing that, then my food will not go bad. That sounds way better. Option parts, uh... 12 gauge, ouch. Equip. Okay. Change equipment, shotgun to the other pistol. Now I have two pistols and can carry ammo for both. I don't have any ammo for the other one, but I can get ammo. Hello. Hang on. Ooh! I could just have the shotgun. I forgot that was an option. I'm definitely going to need to work on uh, maintaining ammo. Yeah! I don't need that. Let me equip that. I don't need that. Bring heavy arrows instead as my backup for the for the bow. Okay, that's probably good enough. I should call it here. I went a little longer than I planned to. I just didn't really uh, expect to find out that I could, in fact, take the shotgun with me. So, yeah.
I have a lot of weight. I wonder if I can get ways to increase that somehow. Oh well. We'll figure it out. I believe in Dan. Dan is a good guy, I know it. <laughs> 